Right. So I was looking for some cheap servers. Um, I needed to uh, test XCPNG, and our servers in in house we use OpenStack, and I wanted to just have a play with XCPNG for something. Um, so having a look around, and I came across these Dell PowerEdge R210. Um, I've just picked one up off eBay. I paid. 130 quid for it, which included the side rails. Um, if we take a look at it, it's a well, I've got it's one new rack, by the way. Um, and it is only, um, just to see it, it's the depth on it is only 400 mil, so it fits in most racks as opposed to a lot of like, servers that you get from Dell and HP that, yeah, just about fit on the back of a lorry. Um, so to say, this one's got an E3 uh, quad-core processor in it. Uh, Intel C202 chipset, text was 32 gig of RAM. Um, the one that I got has got a Perk H200 RAID controller in it. Um, it takes maximum of two, three and a half inch. It will take SAS, SATA, obviously our SSDs are using the SATA SSD of it. Um, it does have a single power supply, um, as opposed to dual power supplies, but, you know. Uh, this one has iDRAC 6 Express on it. The difference between the uh, iDRAC 6 Express version and the Enterprise version is um, console access from a web browser. So, while with the iDRAC 6 Express you can log in, you can you know, restart the server, you can shut the server down, you can configure its IP addresses, um, you know, you can monitor the health of it and everything through the iDRAC interface. Um, the one thing you can't do is pull up a console and uh, get directly onto the console of the operating system that's installed on there. Um, I've just actually purchased, because this is the second one that I've bought for, you know, just sake of 130 quid. Um, I've just purchased the Enterprise 6 iDRAC card for it off eBay. It was like five, five, six quid I paid each for them each and literally just done plug and plug in, so very cheap upgrade to do. Um, when I got this one, it came with a one terabyte hard drive in it, which is why I've got it out, because I powered it up, tested it, made sure it works, mem test on it. Um, memory's fine on it, the hard drive's done quite a few hours running it's been running for about five or six years so i'm gonna swap that out um yeah for the price of it it's you know it's got dual network cards on the back it will have a th the third one from dedicated iraq when i put the enterprise six card in it um but yeah for a server with one terabyte hard drive which you're going to replace the hard drives anyway um but you know Xeon E3 with 16 gig of RAM. It's kind of ideal. Um, why are you no switch? Oh, because I'm already on it. So, so it's Power Edge R210. Um, warranty expired in 20th of January 2013. You know, um, ship date 20th of January 2012, so it's a few years old. But I've tested it with uh, FreeBSD, I've tested it with well, the latest version of FreeBSD, which is 12.1. Um, as of December 2019, I've tried it with the latest version of FreeNAS, worked fine with that. Um, and I've also tried it with XCPNG and it seems to work fine with that. Um, it's going to end up with you know, the raw FreeBSD 12.1 because I use that for storage and stuff. Um, So for the price of 130 quid, the hard drives, you could pick up for, you know, Western Digital 1 terabyte reds for 50 quid or something. So for a couple of hundred quid, you can get yourself a half-decent home lab kit, and these are cheap enough to, if they die, just throw away. Um, anyway, I just wanted to bring the Dell R210 up. There's plenty of them on eBay, and they are literally dirt cheap. Some of them are like 60 quid if you don't want to... Do the buy now. I was doing the buy now on them. Uh, 
Probably going to cut this bit out of the video. Might leave it in actually, see what happens. So yeah, there's plenty of old servers and stuff available on eBay, but say so this one, I have tested it with FreeBSD, XCPNG, FreeNAS. Um, it's good for what we want. So I'm going to end the video here because I'm going to replace a hard drive in this one. So I might as well do a separate video on replacing the hard drive in it. So thank you for watching.